Hey folks, I'm Dieter Melhorn. Do you like fishing for white perch? Or do you want to learn how to catch them? Well, you're going to want to watch this video because not only do I catch a pile of them, but I'm also going to show you everything you need to do to catch them and even show you how to tie the rig to catch them with. Now on this particular trip, I was out drifting for catfish along a 14 to 18 foot flat uh, adjacent to a river channel. We were just floating through the area doing about a half a mile an hour and I started to mark some perch on the screen. I got my double hook rig ready, cut some little pieces of perch off of one of the bait fish I was using and got it in the water. You're down there. Sometimes you gotta put a little action to it. Almost came brown that rig. Drop it back down. Sometimes just having that thing fall through the water column. You get some like jack. Boom there. Up. Boom. There they are. There they are. There they are. Yes, sir. Deuces. Man said deuces. Like I said, they're small packs. They're not a pile of them in here. They're scattered. That's what they look like. Come back down there. Yep, there's still some on there. Boom, there's one. There's two. There we go. Here we go. Let me kill my motor. Deuces. Got one fell into the bilge. I'm going to scrape him out in a minute. I'm not going to waste time on finding him. Getting them in there. Still got him. Still got him. Just let it fall. Boom, there's one. Oh, he dropped it. He dropped it. Didn't get that one hooked. Get it back in. There's a pile of them. Pretty good one. Now, it's one thing, guys. Sometimes you got to have that boat moving. Um, sometimes it, it, it's weird with these things. Sometimes you can park on top of them and catch them vertical. It's just fine. Sometimes that bait's got to be moving. Kind of weird it's kind of like skipjack they can be finicky sometimes on what works i'm getting them to hit there's two of them again nice 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 action good bait stocking it up another one get another one. Oh, there's a lot of them again there are times i almost wonder if that trolling motor doesn't help attract the things there we go. Oh, I got, them, I got them popping the top behind me. I got a school of them around here feeding. Sometimes feeding fish bring feeding fish. It's part of the reason I like catching these things when I'm out. It's part of the reason I will have a guide trip. People catching these things. And I will catch them, let them catch them, and take them off the hook for them all day long. Because it seems like we catch catfish when that happens. So Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. It depends if these schools are stationary and they're hanging in this area or if they're just passing through. And it looks like these might be passing through. Maybe these are the schools that were down the lake from us the past couple of days that we've been fishing around and uh, we're catching catfish around. I don't know. Oh, there's thick on the screen, guys. Thick on the screen. Damn, there's two the second one hit. No, he popped off. No, he's back. He came back and got it. That is crazy. That is crazy. These things will follow bait to the top. There's a good shot of them on the uh, down scan. Broken up individual fish like that. Don't show up as good there on that one. I think it's fooling the sonar and putting out less sensitivity, but that's a pile of them. Bang. We are whacking and a stacking. Deuces again. Deuces again. My bait supply has just went up. I got a pile of them now. We got a pile. Pieces of cut perch on there is what I've got. Yes, I'm using a little bitty piece of their own that are flipping right over there in the water behind me. They're in here feeding on little thread finch head. This year's hatch of Threadfin Shed, as a matter of fact. There we go. 
Deuces again. Come on, there. Bada bang. Bada bang. Back down. No catfish though. So up there, 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 there. Yeah, boom. I think a second one got on. On the way up. No catfish around. At least not yet. At least not yet. We'll see. Maybe we want to fold one of these rods over and bust it up real good. Perchapalooza. Now, why do I use white perch for bait? <laughs> Simply put, it stays on the hook better. Um, you can use minnows are the best bait. Uh, just using minnows will catch them quicker than anything. But you gotta put minnows on the hook. You gotta buy minnows or net them or something. So that's a wild one. There we go. Um, you can also use red worms. Red worms work great for these things. Now, again, you gotta put them on the hook every time. So that's kind of the downside to it. Uh, I may have a catfish rod going behind me. The uh, the perch stays on. I mean, that, that's the bottom line. It's very tough. Uh, I just use a little piece right toward the tail, that little section there. It's real thin. I think it's more color than it is anything that they're actually keying in on. And uh, it gets them to hit. I think one of my pieces just fell off on the way in. I'll show you what it looks like though. Yeah, one of my pieces, a double hook rig. I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna do a video on how to tie one of these. I've had four or five people here in the past couple of weeks ask me how to tie one of these rigs and I'll do one. It's just basically a couple of dropper loops, sinker on one end and a uni knot right there to tie it onto the line. But I'll show y'all in depth how to do one of those. All right, guys, the good news is I'm not going to make you wait for another video to show you how to tie this double hook rig. I'm going to show you uh, how I do it right now. I've got some orange paracord. Uh, it's big, it's visible. Normally, I will either, you can use your main line for this, folks. Uh, I tie a leader piece on mine because like you see in this video, I'm using high-vis uh, line. I do think the high-vis line makes a difference with perch. I had somebody fishing beside me one time that had some bright orange whisker seeker line on there. They could not catch a perch uh, and they were literally parked right beside me. We were talking to each other. I do think the clear leader does make somewhat of a difference. So I try to use a clear leader. If you've got clear line on your rod, you can tie all this directly onto your line without a leader. Uh, but normally I will put a, uh, anywhere from a, a 12 to 17 pound uh, piece of leader material on there. Uh, I tie a uni knot to attach it to my main line and I'm set to go. But the first thing I do, make a loop, just a loop in the end of it. It's just an overhand knot, just like that. This is what I use to attach my sinker. Sinker goes on the end. I've got a big cannonball sinker here that you can see, but Normally I use a one ounce bank sinker. You can use a drifting weight, but pow, it's on there that easy. Now right up from that, now keep in mind, I am not using the actual uh, dropper loop knot. This is just a double overhand knot. These knots are quick and easy to use if you break one of these off and you will break them off. Just go like this. And instead of making one like I did on, this, on the uh, uh, sinker, I go through two times. Just adds a little bit of strength to it. A little bit tighter, a little bit tougher. There we go. Boom. You got a big loop there. Go right up from it. We do the same thing here. Do another one. Double overhanded knot. Boom. It's on there. So you got your two loops here. Now, do it one or two ways. Uh, the hard way is you cut this right here and you tie it on. You can snell it on. I have done that before. I will do that with circle hooks. The hooks that I use, obviously these are big ones. Uh, normally I will use like a number eight Gamagatsu circle hook uh, or something in the six range, something like that. And the easy way to do this is, is to take that loop, push it through the eye of the hook, just like that. And take that and back through there, poof. It's that easy. This is the easy way to do it. Like I said, you can cut that loop, nothing wrong with that, and tie a snail the hook on there. I've done that. Takes a little longer. Got to have some good eyes, but if you do it this way, you're ready to go in no time. Uh, that's literally, you can probably do that in 90 seconds. You can have that rig ready to go. And uh, again, the other end of this, you can tie on to a swivel 
and on the other end of the swivel, attach that to your main line. Or like I do, uh, I just tie a, uh, a double uni knot and boom, two lines are tied together and you're ready to fish. There's another pile of them on the screen, guys. Let's see if we can pop a couple more right fast. Right there, guys, that just got puked up in the uh, tank. That's what they're eating. One of them just puked that up. That's this year's hatch, little shad. That's what they're eating. Yeah, it's literally a little bitty piece, just like this off the tail. And I just put it on this hook. It probably looks, it's got a little flash of white and it probably smells like fish to them. And it's perfect. You can see they'll hit it and hit it and hit it and it'll stay on there. It's got that little white glisten to it. it probably looks like a shad and they will maul it and you can catch you saw how many how many i've caught on it i mean just tons of them these things are uh as we've said as we have said before these things are easy to catch they're just hard to find sometimes uh two days ago we were killing them out here on a guide trip alongside some fish and we fished all day yesterday caught a bunch of fish yesterday catfish but i think we only caught two or three perch so Sometimes they can be elusive. Well, folks, if you made it this far, thank you for watching. Here are a couple more videos that I think you're going to like. I'd watch that one and then that one. No, no do, do that one first and then that one. I, I don't know. Just watch them both. They're both good.